Today we will see how we can find the determinant of a 5 cross 5 matrix. First of all, to find the determinant of a 5 cross 5 matrix, you need to make sure that your pivot element is not 0. That is here the element is 2. And if it is 0, then you can perform either row operations or column operations and make it 1 or any other element or any other number. But it should not be 0. So as it is 2, we will write this as 1 upon 2 raised to 5 minus 2. Here this 5 is for 5 cross 5 matrix and 2 is a constant. Then we will create determinant 2 cross 2 determinant. For that we will use the elements of the first row and second row. So write it like this and make four determinants. Then in the column, we'll write this as 0, 2. Then for the next one as 0, 0. Then 1, 1. And 5, 2. In the same way, again we'll create determinants. 2 cross 2 determinant and for that we will use the elements of the first row and the third row. Then for this column we will write as its elements of the first row and third row which is 0, 0. Here for the first column we don't change the elements it will be same that is 2, 0. Only the elements in the second column will change. So for this it will be 1, 3 and for the last one it will be 5, 1. Then same way now we will take the elements of the first row and the fourth row which is 2, 1 and again we will write four determinants having two one in the first column and then for the second column we'll take it as zero one then for the next one it will be zero three again one zero and for the last five zero that is the elements of the first row and the fourth row now we will take the elements of the first row and the fifth row which is 2 5 again same way we will create four determinants having the first column as 2 5 then for writing the second column we will take this 0 2 then for the next it will be 0 1 then for the third one 1 0 and for the last one it will be 5 0 Then after you just need to solve this as you solve the 2 cross 2 determinant. So here 1 upon 2 raised to 5 minus 2 which will be 1 upon 8. And this after solving we get 2 into 2 minus 0 into 0. That is 4. Then 2 into 0 minus 0 into 0. So it will be 0. Then 2 into 1 minus 1 into 0 which is 2. Then 2 into 2 minus 5 into 0, so it will be 4. Same way you have to solve for all the determinants. Then here it will be 2 into 0 minus 1 into 1, which is minus 1. And 2 into 0 minus 5 into 1, that is minus 5. Then 2 into 2, which is 4. Minus 2 into 1, 2 into 1, minus 0 into 5. And then the last one, which is minus 25. Here we got the pivot element as 4. So we'll write this as 1 upon 8 into 4 raised to 4 minus 2. Why 4? Because it is a 4 cross 4 matrix. 
and 2 is a constant. Then same way again we will create determinants and this time there will be 3 determinants. So again we will write the elements of the first and the second row. That will be the first column of our all the determinants and for the second column it will be 0, 4, 2, 6, 4, 2. Then for the next, it will be first row and third row, which is 4, 2, 4, 2, and 4, 2. Then for the second column, it will be 0, 6, 2, minus 1, 4, minus 5, and the last one will be with first row and fourth row that is 4 4 and here the second column for the first determinant will be 0 2 for the second one it will be 2 minus 5 and for the last one it will be 4 minus 25 then again we'll just solve this That is 1 upon 8 raised to, sorry, 8 into 16. So we'll get it as 1 divided by 128. And we'll solve this, which is 4 into 4 minus 0 into 0. That is for the first, it will be 16. Then 4 is 4 into 6 minus 2 into 0, which is 24. Then 4 into 2, 8. And minus 0, so it will be 8. Then 24 minus 8, minus 28. Then 8, minus 28. And it will be minus 116. Then it will be 1 upon 128 and we'll solve the 3 cross 3 determinant. So we'll solve it in the same way as we solved the 3 cross 3 determinant. You can even solve it in the calculator or manually. That is firstly it will be 16 into minus 8 into minus 116 minus minus 28 into minus 28 you can easily solve it in the calculator if you don't want to do it manually then sign change and minus 24 into that is the first row second element and then it will be 24 into minus 116 minus minus 28 into 8 If you have any doubt regarding how we can solve a 3 cross 3 determinant manually, then you can watch my video on that. I'll provide the li link in description. And even if you have any doubt regarding how to solve it in calculator, then I'll also provide that link. So this is done. Now we'll just solve this. On solving we get 1 upon 128. 16 into it is coming as 144 minus 24 into minus 2560 plus 8 into this comes out to be 608 
माइनस सिक्स जीरो एट ऑन फर्दर सॉल्विंग विल गेट फाइव एट 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 जीरो इट इज फाइव ट्रिपल एट जीरो डिवाइडेड बाय वन ट्वेंटी एट so the answer comes out to be 460 which is the determinant of the given 5 cross 5 matrix so this is how you can find the determinant of a 5 cross 5 matrix and the method that we have used is known as kyo's method thank you